Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bjorn and I am in Africa. That is why the name of my channel is Bjorn in Africa. And the mission of my channel is to bring Africa and the Caribbean closer together, bridging the gap, my friends. Now, today is Saturday afternoon and uh, what is happening in South Africa is absolutely amazing history in the making there will be a change of government in south africa well kind of um the ruling party anc the party of nelson mandela for the first time will need to form a coalition in order to continue government now since 1994 the anc the party of nelson mandela um, would have been getting over 50%, 60s, 70s percent uh, majority of votes. And in South Africa, once you get over 50% of the vote, one party, as a party, you can form the government alone. Now, this is not the case. And what is fascinating about this is that a new party, a new party um, launched their party four months before the election, the MK, known as the MK Party. That is the party of Jacob Zuma. Jacob Zuma is the leader of the MK Party that formed just months before the election. Now, let me give you a history of Jacob Zuma. During apartheid, Jacob Zuma was part of the ANC. Remember the ANC? um what is a massive movement the anc would have been established 112 years ago and it fought through apartheid and colonialism it was fighting the white apartheid government in south africa for many decades and um jacob zuma did something very smart um the anc was so powerful back in the day during apartheid the ANC had a wing, a department called, um, with the initial MK. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the word, but it's two words, um, stands for MK. And um, that was the army of the political wing of the ANC. And that wing used to do fighting. They used to do guerrilla warfare. In South Africa, um, they used to fight with weapons, real guns. It was like an army in South Africa fighting the apartheid government. And Jacob Zuma was part of that fight. Now, Jacob Zuma named his party MK, the same name that the ANC had um, for their um, um, army wing in the ANC years ago. He gave it the same name. And Jacob Zuma is the same person. So people would have remembered that. And um, Jacob Zuma, uh, tremendous support all around the country, especially in Zulu country, um, KwaZulu Natal, that is the home of the Zulus. He would have won that constituency for the first time. They call it province. For the first time in, a, um, in the history of um, South African politics. ANC would have, that's ANC stronghold, but Jacob Zuma has won that constituency. And now they're looking, the MK party is looking to be getting like 15% of the votes. That is a historic jump for a new party. All the other new parties are getting like 1% and 0 point something percent. But Zuma MK party is getting 15% and it is now the third largest political party in south africa now jacob zuma is a significant figure because during apartheid he spent 10 years in jail he was captured by the um white apartheid government and he just like nelson nelson mandela he served 10 years in prison um so people would have remembered jacob zuma as a fighter and um he's 82 years of age but is flamboyant um i just a couple of days ago mk party launched their manifesto and jacob zuma read the whole manifesto in the zulu language 
the Zulu language, he, he um, spoke the whole manifesto in to a record pack crowd in um, Soweto. Over 40,000 people was in the stadium, full the stadium. And that started, people started to get um, uh, worried about that because they knew something is happening. But people had Jacob Zuma, a lot of people had him like a joke. And um, now the ANC would have lost for the first time, lost their majority for the first time in the history of South African politics. So the top three parties there now, the ANC, will be getting around 40% of the votes. Then you have um, the DA, which is led by um, a white man. Uh, most of white people and Indians in South Africa, they support that party. That party is the second largest party. That party it will get around 20% of the votes. And then you have the MK party, um, Jacob Zuma's party. That party will get around 15% of the votes. And then the fourth largest party now will be the EFF, the party of Julius Malema, the big Pan-Africanist party that will get around 10% of the votes. Now, here's a scenario, my friends. Um, now, ANC can join with the DA, which has about 20%, but the DA is supported by mostly white people. And um, many of those people would have um, sat in government during apartheid. So if the ANC were to join with the DA now, the MK party and the EFF party will have a field day. They would, la they would lash them and smash them in parliament all day long. And then the ANC, that may be the end of the ANC. Uh, because a lot of the people who support the ANC now are radical um, people, a lot of elderly people who fought during apartheid, and they would remember um, the struggle. So by joining with the DA, a lot of those people will see that as a betrayal, and um, they would give their support to the EFF or the MK party. So come next election, it will be the the ANC would, would lose a massive, maybe half of their vote, voting um, support. So that's a risk that um, I, um, they, they might take, but I doubt it. Um, who knows, anything can happen in politics, but they would think very long and hard before taking that type of risk because MK Party is there waiting to replace the ANC and the EFF is there as well. And then if the MK party in the future and the EFF get enough votes, they could form the government. So the ANC um, would be very worried. And here's the next scenario. The ANC can form the government with the MK party and get like around 55%, both parties in together. And that would be a clear majority. But here's the thing. The MK party is the party of Jacob Zuma. Jacob Zuma felt that he was betrayed by the ANC because just a few months ago, um, he went to jail and he blamed the ANC government for that. And uh, previous to that, they actually, um, he, Jacob Zuma served as president of the ANC and of the South Africa for about 10 years. But coming on to the end of his term, they had a lot of chaos, like corruption charges and so, and they forced him, the ANC and the EFF and the DA, and forced him to step down. And that's how Ramaphosa, the current president of South Africa and the ANC, emerged as the new leader of the ANC and the president of South Africa because the ANC is in power. So Jacob Zuma would have uh, have a lot of anger for the AMC because of that. And he formed this party. He said publicly he is still a member of the ANC. He hasn't given up his membership. And he said after the election, he would rebuild the ANC through the MK party. 
And that was his message. And the people agreed with him. So it will be fascinating to see. But here's another thing. Um, the ANC would be worried that if they join with the MK party, they would strengthen them even more. And because they're so similar, the MK party would draw their support. Because once the MK party get into government, they would be 10 times as strong. So they would draw the support from the ANC. So the ANC do not want to strengthen the MK party at this time. Now the ANC can join with the EFF and maybe another smaller party and that will be the, the government. But again, the ANC does not want to strengthen the EFF as well because the EFF can have radical Pan-Africanist policies and they can draw support because they have a lot of support around the country. They could do the same thing as the MK party. Now, so the ANC has it, hand, has it hands full. If you join the DA, which is led by a white man, the second largest party, people would say they're sellout and a lot of the, their supporters will turn against them and join the MK party or the EFF. Now, if you join with the MK party, you will be strengthening them and they may draw support from you. Now, if you join with the EFF and another small party, the same thing, you're going to strengthen the EFF. So, the best thing, if I was, if I was ANC at this time, I would join with the EFF and the MK party, the two of them. I would bring them into government. That way, um... I would not be strengthening one party. I would kind of scramble up everything and um, hope that uh, if there's chaos or anything like that, people would say ANC was better alone. That I, I would take that chance because if you join with the DA is a big risk. Um, definitely, ANC and MK will have a field in um, Parliament. They will bash you all the time and say you're a sellout. And, um, and if you join with one MK party, uh, you will strengthen them. You're fearful of strengthening them. So I will join with the EFF and the MK party. So the ANC, the EFF, and the MK party of Jacob Zuma can found the government. And that will be a powerful combination, my friends. I hope you um, got a picture of the election now the south african election the voting would have done like a day or two ago but they take three days to count their votes tomorrow will be the ending of the counting but they're like 98 percent um counted already so the results that they have uh, would won't change that much and as i said the anc have 40 percent the da has 20 percent the mk party of jacob zuma has 15 percent and the eff has around 10 percent so they will remain the same it's not going to change much so definitely there will be a coalition government but who will be the coalition is the question and as i said in my analysis before you leave your comments you let me know um what will be the best combination and you let me know your thoughts on this historic elections my friends make sure to subscribe to my channel um my name is beyond the name of my channel is beyond in africa and um the mission of this channel is to bring the caribbean bridge the gap between the caribbean and africa because i am from a small island in the Caribbean called Sinkits and Nevis. But I am currently in Nairobi, Kenya right now. Um, and my goal is to bridge the gap between Africa and the Caribbean. That is why I'm talking South African politics right now. For, so that people from in the Caribbean, my home country of Sinkits and Nevis, could understand what is happening in South Africa. And uh, hopefully um they say they have maybe 14 days to make the coalition but tomorrow we will get the results and uh, as i told you before the results are gonna be something like that 
So there will be a coalition government in South Africa. Who the coalition government will be is our guess. But stay tuned. I will um, keep you posted. Make sure to become a member of my channel and support my mission of bridging the gap between Africa and the Caribbean. Like this video. Share it with all your friends and family. Watch all the ads. YouTube are going to play some ads. I want you to watch all of them so that I can make a little sense, a couple of cents here and there, so that I can pay for my living expenses in Africa as I aim to bridge the gap between Africa and the Caribbean. My friends, we are powerful together. We are better together, stronger together, greater together. My friends, subscribe to my channel today and um, let us love each other and be together africa and the caribbean forever my friends bye bye for now and i'll see you again in the next video much love